You say potato, I say potato. You can call these potato pancakes. My great-grandmother used to call them this, which I can't pronounce. So it doesn't matter whether you call these potato pancakes, latkes, this Polish word, whatever you call them, you have, you have to call them delicious. You just have to, because they are absolutely delicious. Kind of like you can't eat one potato chip, you can't eat one potato pancake. You're just going to keep wanting them and wanting them. They are that good. They are super easy. We're going to make them now. Let's get it done. So to get started, we're going to peel three large russet potatoes. Uh, it's about a pound and a half is what you're shooting for. One thing that's nice about this recipe, it does not have to be exactly precise measured out. You can be a little loose with the measurements. Once they're peeled, we're going to cut them into quarters. Just like that. Don't cut yourself. The reason why we're going to cut these into quarters is because we are in 2021 and we have invented machinery that helps us out. I'm going to use a food processor for this. You can go traditional and do this with a box grater and cut up your knuckles, but nobody wants to do that. Now, once your potatoes are peeled and quartered, you're going to change out the water that they're sitting in. Keep them sitting in water so they don't turn brown. One large onion. We're going to also cut this into quarters because we are going to process it with the potatoes. So with the food processor, I use both the grating plate on the top and the blades on the bottom. So we're going to run all of our potatoes and onions through this. You don't have to change it out. Stop. Just run it all through together. That's what we want. You may still have some shreds in there. That's perfectly fine. But you want to almost puree this. You can do this in a blender as well if you'd uh, prefer. So once that's done, we're going to pour it out into a large mixing bowl. Make sure you get it all in. See, there's a couple of shreds. That's, that's fine. Not necessary to get rid of those. Keep them in. It'll all cook up and still be delicious. So get that all in. Waste not, want not. There we go. Now we're going to add one liquid chicken, and then we're going to mix that in very well. We're going to kind of mix this in stages, so we'll add something, mix it, add something, mix it. So get your egg fully mixed in there, just like that, looking good. Now two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Now you may need some additional flour because this is pretty wet, so we'll start off with two. We'll get that mixed in. We'll see where we're at. In my case, it was still quite loose. Look at that. See, still a little loose. We'll add another tablespoon. Give that a nice solid mixing. And that just about does it for this recipe. Get it mixed in nice. Going to add some salt, about a half a teaspoon of salt. And then as much freshly ground black pepper as your little heart desires. You know me, I like my pepper. So I will put a lot of pepper in. Because it's delicious. And remember, fresh ground for maximum flavor. Now we'll get that mixed in, the salt and pepper. And that's it. It's done. It's ready to be fried. How about that? So in a large frying pan, we're going to coat the bottom with the oil of your choice. I'm using canola. You can use vegetable, avocado, just any neutral flavored oil. We're going to heat that up over medium-high heat. And then with a uh, big spoon, we're going to just spoon in. You don't want to overcrowd it. You don't want them to touch. So your pan may accommodate three, maybe four. But you're going to get them in. Smooth them out with the back of the spoon. And we're going to cook these for three to four minutes until they get golden brown and look absolutely beautiful. Give it a little check. And if it's looking good, we give it a flip. Now these I ended up flipping back because they weren't quite golden brown enough. And that's fine too. We'll give them all a flip and let them cook again three to four minutes on that side. And then they should be absolutely perfect. Look at that. Look how golden brown and perfect those are. The crispy on the edges. They're amazing. We're going to drain them off on a wire rack or some paper towel and then continue on till they're all done. Now look at this. Beautiful, crispy, golden brown potatoey goodness. I like to top mine with applesauce. That's just a personal preference. You can use sour cream sauteed onions, whatever makes you happy to enjoy this delicious Polish comfort food. 
Take a look. See, I like applesauce on mine. Sour cream is good. Applesauce is better. And check this out. I don't know if you can... I'm trying to get it. It's still mostly crispy, and it's been sitting for a little while while I wrapped up filming. All right, I can't wait. I'm using a fork because I'm classy. I was going to use my hands, but... Wow. 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 So there you have it. Some incredible potato pancakes. Definitely try this out. If you do, drop it down in the comments. Let me know how they came out for you. You want to see me make something? You got a suggestion? Drop that down in the comments. You want to tell me I suck? Drop that down in the comments. Please make sure you're subscribed. Smash that like button. Make sure you're getting all our videos because nobody can turn away from this mediocre content. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.